For this example, we're going to be machining the U-shaped slot that we can see currently selected on the screen. Now, to machine this successfully, we need to use five-axis techniques. In particular, we're going to be using a curve to guide the tool axis. So the first thing we need to do is create our curve. To start with, we're going to take the U-shaped surface into our surface modeling module and then we're going to select the center line of the curve and convert it into wireframe. Because this wireframe was created directly from the surface, the wireframe inherits the surface normal data from the underlying surface. Because we have this surface normal data, we can now use a surface extension command to create a surface which is perpendicular to the center line of this slot by simply putting 90 degrees into the form. This surface is used as a construction surface for creating a tool axis curve. So we're going to convert the end lateral into wireframe and then delete the underlying extension surface. So this is the basis for our tool axis curve. But we want this curve to be as smooth as possible so there are as minimal tool axis changes uh, in the tool path. So to do this we're going to remove any unnecessary points. So particularly where the curve goes down into this V-shaped groove that's a not a necessary move we need to do so we're going to delete those points from the curve. This will have the benefit of keeping the tool axis fixed along this edge which is going to give us the smoothest tool axis motion. So once we've deleted these points on the three sides we're left with our finished curve for our tool axis definition. Then we simply go back into Power Mill, select our wireframe we created and insert that into an empty pattern by simply choosing insert model. Now we have our finished curve we need to choose the strategy we're going to use to machine this U-shaped slot. In this case we're going to be using surface finishing. So this is a single surface direct machining of the surface. So in the tool axis form we specify the from curve option and choose our pattern. Because we only want to machine the center line of this surface and not machine the surface completely, you'll notice that we have limited the limits to the V only of 10.5. This has the effect of giving us a single pass in the center of that slot. And you can see if we simulate the tool path, the tool axis is fixed through the center of the curve.